What's up, Nova Heads? It's Amber Nova. This is Chris Lights Out Lytle. Hi, this is Ray Boom Boom Mancini. Ice Boogie. It's the real and raw August Art Swap. This is Smiling Sam Alvey. It's, it's Archimedes. I'm Jack Cartwheel, the real deal, the human highlight reel. This is Steve Maury. I'm Victor Henry. Boy, bulletproof troop. Billy Stark. It's ECW original, The Enforcer, C.W. Anderson. This is Honest John. Hyper Street. I'm Luis Moreno. And this is Mr. Classic. I'm Sadino A. I'm Jason Pune. The Young Goes Right. Hey! <laughs> it's old Howdy Price here. When I say, what's my name? Tonight! Richie Slade. My name is Gina Rivera, the Frank Sinatra of the Spanish Mafia. The incredible one, Anthony Idol. This is Ken Shamrock. The Golden Boy, Jordan Clearwater. Yo, watch <laughs> and listen. <laughs> Championship Online. This podcast with him. This is Alex Mars here. Hi, I'm Richard Modest. Ciao. Please listen to it, otherwise be cursed. Okay, see you later. Love that, Danos. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. You're now watching and listening to Championship Online Podcast. If you need this channel, my name is Alex. And this is my co-host, Rich. And today is a very, very special episode here because we got the hottest wrestling company hey. in California, but actually in the world. Hey. <laughs> um, you know, they had their first show back in January, which it was it was written and it was a great show, hot show. And now they're back in April 21st at the American Legion in Chino, California yep. for yep. Hard to Earn. Ladies and gentlemen, we got Winter Circle Pro Wrestling's very own. Quincy and Doc Jones, ladies and gentlemen. What is going on? Hey, I pre- hey, that, that was a hell of an intro, man. Yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> I appreciate that, man. Uh, just uh, first of all, I mean, thank you guys for having us on again, man. Um, you guys were definitely in the house for our first show. It was our first show, man, and uh, you know, we're still just trying to get all the kinks out and everything. But you guys came through, supported Mad Heavy, and then you know, invited us on the show. So we, again, we appreciate it. And you're right, we're coming back April 21st. Hard yeah. to earn. And yeah, we're here to talk about it, man. I definitely appreciate it again. Awesome, awesome, for sure. No, thank you so much for for having me on. And uh, you know, we had so much fun uh, on the last show. I'm, um, but, I'm glad y'all did, man. I really am. Yeah. Oh, for sure, man. We we wanted more after we went home. We're like, oh, I wish there was more <laughs> wrestling. <laughs> but, uh, that's yeah, yeah. Okay, we ran great. late too. Yeah, we did. We ran yeah. a little bit late. Yeah, mm-hmm. man. That, that, but that's definitely, cool. worth, definitely worth it though. Definitely had so much fun. And but before. We get into uh, the business. We like to do a fun segment where we ask 10 fun questions about yourself. And is that awesome. cool to do it for you? Hell yeah. Let's do it. Yeah. Let's do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Cool, cool. Take it away, Rich. All right, fellas. So the first question, what is your favorite movie of all time? Mm. Ooh. See, it depends because of genre, but then. Uh, yeah. <laughs> mm, mm, of all time? Ah. Uh, yeah, because I mean, I know, I know you is even harder. My brother's a huge movie buff yeah. too, huge, huge, huge it's, movie. It's yeah, because like, mm. Mm. <laughs> but there's the movies that are like, oh, wow, that that was a masterpiece. Yeah. Right? But then there's some that are like Rain or Shine, Six yes. or Good Health. Like this could be on at any, you know, I mean? any like, point in the movie yeah, you could like, watch. Yeah. yeah, you know what I mean? Like that that could yeah. be like Friday or in, or any. Scar, you know what? Scar, I put yeah. Scarface up there. I put Scarface up there. Nice. Oh, I, was, I was trying not to be cliche and say um, casino, but you know uh, what's the other one? That is that um, is a good yeah for you. That's a good one. Yeah, but, but uh, there's that other one with Leo and Jack Nicholson. Oh, you're talking about Departed? The Departed. Yeah, that's a good. That's another <laughs> that good one, one too. Yeah, the Prestige. Yeah, because I was close. I was like, I was like, should I, should I date myself and be like Bill and Ted too? I'm yeah. like, no, 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 no. I'm like, <laughs> That's a personal favorite, but of all time, I'm like, yeah, ah. I almost said three ninjas, dude. You know, oh, yeah, that, uh, that's a, that's a special place right there. But yeah, I, yeah, Scarface, which is it? Scarface Departed. I go Departed. That's yeah. pretty, pretty, yeah. pretty two good bangers right nice. there, man. Those are awesome. Yeah, Departed is great. Alex and I just watched uh, Scarface recently. Like, it just never gets old. Like, oh my god, it's like yeah. classic. It's so good. Definitely, it's, and we it's have, like, it holds up. It holds up. good. Yeah, like that's fiction. another good one. Yeah, we're like fiction. Yeah, that movie could be on yeah. at any point, and you're like, True. I'm going to sit here and watch the rest of this 25 True. minutes. It doesn't even matter what you got going on. Yeah, he's so. like, oh, oh, it's this part of the movie. I need to stay and watch this right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's so true, and we get it too because Alex and I kind of like bicker a little bit over like our top 15 movies. 
and we're trying to be. It all has to be a top and, fifteen, dude. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's Cinderella funny. Man or Once Upon a Time in Hollywood or Pulp Fiction. Oh, and dude, Once Upon a Time yeah. in Hollywood's another good yeah. one, dude. I know yeah. you haven't seen it, but yeah, that's a good one. It's yeah, so yeah. Good. yeah. Man, okay. But then you have like a guilty pleasure, like oh, you know, well Friday or Pineapple Express or Project X, and like oh yeah, dude, depending on the mood, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, was like, I was like, he named a bad, like, like oh like, yeah, all dude, Friday, fuck, like, uh, Hangover, all that like, good stuff. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Awesome. With the next question, a little similar. What is your favorite TV show of all time? Oh, off the rip. Uh, I mean, at least right now, it's like oh, it, okay. Bob's Burgers. <laughs> I mean, that's, oh, my, yeah. that's my go-to. Yeah. Same with, you know, like that's that rain or shine. If I get home from work and I'm like, oh, work suck. You know, I, I might warm up, warm up some food, whatever I got going. And I'm like, yeah. oh, Bob's Burgers is on. Or I go straight to the DVR and just pump up one of the reruns, yeah. you know. See, it's tough for me because I feel like it's that's another genre thing. Like, because I could, like, I, oh, you true, know, yeah, yeah. I, I'm, I'm like a huge Dexter fan, you know. Mm, but, like, yeah. I was also like, you know, I, I, could, I could watch, like you said, like Bob's Burgers. I could watch, I mean... Pretty much I mean, anything, to be honest, for you, yeah. It's, yeah, it's I, I don't, I mean, Lost Rick and Morty. Rick there. and Morty was your, was your go-to for a while, yeah. Rick and Morty, yeah. yeah. It's, uh, I'm trying to think, like, shows that are timeless, because, like, you know, even, like, The Simpsons, you know. I mean, even Lizard like, Lick Towing, you know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 Depending what kind of day. So, some ghost, some, some ghost adventures, you know what I mean? Yeah. And Ooh, they're like, like, like a truck. <laughs> You can't get enough of that iced tea on the oh, shit on, on the SVU, you know what I mean? <laughs> you know, just yeah, yeah, little no. pockets. But no, yeah, for me, Bob's Burgers, for you, yeah, you got like a lot, bro. I, I just watch a lot. I stream a lot. That, that's that's my problem right now. Like, I, I just, I got so many shows I'm trying to keep up with right now. But uh, I'm yeah, I'll, I'll probably strap, strap the rocket. Oh, I'll, I'll actually, I'll also add The Boys uh, on uh, Amazon Prime. That one, <laughs> yeah. that one's one that's a good one. one. Yeah, that, oof. I'm glad someone's familiar. Yeah, that one's good. That was yeah, good. Yeah. <laughs> I, I for sure Alex agrees with he's a huge Bob Burgers fan. Oh, he hell yeah, dude. <laughs> what did you think of the movie? Any, like any, you did, any the movie to be honest. So the movie, shocking, I, like, I, I, I like the movie, but I was like, man, it just felt like an hour long episode. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, they could have just had yeah. it on TV, and especially because. I already figured out who it was within like 15 minutes of the movie. I was like, yeah. and then so when it played out, but I figured it out and I was like, it, I waited for it to play out to be wrong. And I'm like, oh, I wasn't wrong. I'm like, that kind of sucked. Right. <laughs> but, yeah. but, you know, I, I couldn't be like, oh, I hate Miles because I love Miles Burgers. I was just, I just yeah. expected a, a little bit more. And then I hated how they, uh, they changed uh, Mickey's voice. I was like, mm. I was like, what was that? <laughs> I was like, where's the most real hater at dog? I'm like, at least get somebody that sounds like him. It was like, Dog, it, it's not no, even no, him. I see, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I see, no, I see. But yeah, yeah. That, that. <laughs> he's very passionate about his Bob. Burgers. I am. Yeah. I will yeah. say that I am. Yeah we, yeah, we kind of felt the same way. Like it was good, but then it's like nothing kind of changed. Like a long episode, so yeah. it's kind of like I expected. I was, I was like, maybe they'll get away with a little bit more cursing or something. Maybe, yeah, yeah, yeah or at least thing. Luis, right? But yeah, you know, yeah, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. With the next question, you guys have a favorite uh, music artist or band? Uh, ooh. I say both. Yeah, I mean, uh, uh, artists. Again, that's for genres, but like, I mean, I can listen to anything. I, I'm very into. I mean, anything from like old school, new school, like mm. J Cole, Kendrick. Mm. Uh, you know, obviously, if you, the, it was written, you could tell that there's a lot of hip hop elements to our presentation with Winter Circle. So, uh, mm. you know, a Nas, Jay Z's, things like that. But mm. like, I can also listen to like. The Beatles and like yeah, you, true. you know, what I'm saying the Very white true. stripes and, and and uh and a uh, system of a down, you know, what I'm saying it really depends on on the day. But I would say J Cole's probably one of the guys I have a lot of albums of. Probably one of the guys mm-hmm. I've seen the most live for sure. Yeah, I, I'd, I'd agree. Like, as far as like what I'm what I've been playing a lot, like probably the last year and a half, and probably J Cole saw a lot of a lot of playtime for sure. <laughs> Uh, he's mm-hmm. probably my current favorite, him and Kendra, like you said. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, I listen to a lot of different stuff, too, because I do a lot of driving on my job. So it's like I'll, I'll listen to a lot of, like, uh, 90s rock and stuff that we grew up on, like like the yeah, Systems yeah. of a Down, Linkin Park, yeah, yeah. stuff like that. I mean, I always love Nirvana, too. That's always a favorite. Beatles, I mean, we fell into, into the Beatles late. Like we we were Beatles fans without knowing we were Beatles fans. We're like, oh, they sing this song? Oh, they sing this song, too? We're like, <laughs> yeah. yo, these fools are putting out bangers. Yeah, it was like. Yo, the catalog, <laughs> the catalog was yeah, flawless. Yeah, yeah. And then we took that rock and roll appreciation class. We're yeah, like, yeah, yeah. oh, so I didn't realize it, but uh, yeah, we're, we're Beatles fans. Like, like, <laughs> yeah, that was cool. Up our minds, yeah. Like musically. So yeah, that was yeah, that but, was really uh, cool. yeah. I mean, 
you, you can tell yeah, very eclectic taste you know or just like kind of i mean it really depends on the day like and what i'm doing if i'm running errands like i could throw on something that's like gonna be like the score for the day you know what i'm saying but yeah. that can literally e e easily be some of the same artists i just said on one playlist you know what i'm saying could even so, be like some wrestling theme songs i get as jacked up yeah, you know what yeah. i mean like yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Like, real talk. yeah. yeah. Yeah, I think we're the same way. I did Alex too. I think one that was going to his music, he had like the Scotty Too Hotty intro song. Yeah, oh, dude. I mean, hey, man, hey, whatever. If it sets the mood, it sets the mood. You know yeah, what I mean? Like, I feel that. Yeah. Like, that'll get the hard puppet for sure. Like, for me, yeah, like, per, like, like my, my, my current uh, alarm. Uh, Cause I wake up, I do like a twelve hour job, you know. So I'm like always, I'm like, if I gotta set my alarm, I gotta set it to something that's gonna make me wake up. Yeah, yeah. And uh, right now, it's been set for like the last since like November to the uh, FTR theme song, just because I'm like, oh, if I hear that, that, I'm that like. Song. Hell yeah, let's go, right? I'm like excited to get up. I'm like, you know what? It's on. Yeah, let's go, let's go, let's go seven stars strong tonight. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, let's right. be smile, you know, let's get to the money, you know? So yeah, it's good. Yeah, I, I don't know. I, I just like, you know, every time I hear the song and I see it, if I don't know they're going to be on the program, I'm like, yeah. oh, hell yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So yeah. I yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was blasting, uh, what's it called? Uh, Claudio's theme. Hey, what's that's a song? nice song, dude. Yeah, like, I, yeah, I, I was happy you got that. Yeah. That's, uh, that's one of my favorites. Yeah. It's so good. Nice. Uh, with the next question, you guys have a favorite go-to meal? Oh, man. Um, yeah. I would say, for me, I'm known as a serial killer. Like, if all else fails, I'll go for just a good bowl of cereal any, any time of the day. Any time of the day, if I have time. Uh, but usually, if it's like a hot, hot meal, then we're thinking probably like Chick-fil-A, maybe... Mm -hmm. uh, uh jeez i wish i'm i'm too on the go like i think my guilty like my meal quote unquote is oh that's like, true You're, yeah we're a little stomach. different I mean, yeah really right here you know what i mean like a star starbucks and something yeah star, like because <laughs> i i'm so i mean when is this good i got too. so many different things i'm into work wise and then different hats i wear at home where it's like i'm constantly on the go so like Starbucks is something that, like, in the second half of my life, <laughs> I, I like, really have, like, had an affinity for it because I'm not a coffee guy. But if it's got green tea in it, man, I, he's I, like, I'm I with it. Yeah. It go. You know, what I'm saying? Like, so, yeah, I wish I had time for some Chick fil A. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm just, it's like Chick fil A, Chipotle, like Wendy's. Yeah, like, I mean, <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm sorry. It's all it's all local to me. It's all local because we don't we don't live together, right? So it's like it's all local to me. That's why it's just like go to. You know what I mean? Like, especially Wendy's. Yeah, I got to get away from Wendy's. Like, Wendy's yeah. yeah. It's where Alex and I were talking. We're just so heartbroken that they still haven't brought back the snack wrap, that chicken snack wrap. Oh, oh dude. dude. They, I don't know why they they, they always discontinue. Like like they just barely, barely brought back the uh, for, for those that are like Taco Bell enthusiasts. They're like they finally brought back the Mexican pizza. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I was like, why That's the big deal? I'm like, we're they discontinue the, the good stuff that oh, they sell man. a lot of. I was like, I don't understand, man. Like meanwhile, it's... McRib gets to come back every year. Oh yeah. 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 yeah it looks the same or worse. Uh, every year. It worse. Yeah. <laughs> It's like that's a rib. Yeah. No, nah, yeah. that's not a rib. I don't, I don't know who. What, what kind of rib is that? Like, <laughs> I don't know. I know exactly. I mean, I had it the first time like a year ago, and just the texture of it, I just couldn't. That's like, what it is. Yeah, it's questionable, bro. It's like I don't think yeah. a rib can really be prepared in a fast food kitchen setting. Like, probably. yeah. And well, then you, and you go, but you you hope for the best, and then you bite into it, you're like. I don't think that's meat. <laughs> You're like, no, right? I, I had what I think tastes like a rib, yeah, yeah. but I'm not quite yeah. convinced. Oh, man. Almost rib. Yeah. So, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, near rib. I think that goes. I think, I think that goes back to like the old like oh, McDonald's rumors that like, oh, they cook the McNuggets with kangaroo meat, yeah. and you're like, yeah. you're like, are these kangaroo ribs? Like, what's going on back then? Oh my god, they did ruin nuggets oh. for a while. Yeah, yeah. They did, yeah, for sure. Nice. Uh, with the next question, you guys have a favorite sports team? Uh, for me, it's two. I'll, I'll, I'll get shit for it, but it's the, the Lakers all day, but it's always going to be the, the 90s Bulls. I, I'm a huge Jordan fan, yeah. and it's Jordan over everybody. Dan Kobe, I'm sorry, but it is what it is. I'm, I'm just going to let that be known. <laughs> no, LeBron, LeBron there. But yeah, no, no, it's, <laughs> no, no, it's Kobe over everybody to me. Like, ain't Kobe not, over. Same thing. No, I feel Lakers, you. Um, <laughs> it's kind of cool because uh, we kind of got to got to like a lot of different teams because uh, our older brothers are yeah, sports true. writers. Yeah, and so oh. we, you know, because of that, we used to get to go to different games and 
uh, see different teams and stuff, especially when like the better team because he he started out writing for the Clippers. Oh like, yeah, the 90s. <laughs> I forgot and about so that. Yeah, yeah. Doing much, but they would play dope teams, so we would be like, yeah, we need to go to this game, you know? Because well, we well, yeah. Dave Robinson and the Spurs and stuff like that. It, stuff, ba- basically, know, so. it was like, yeah, let's go watch him get dunked on. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but I mean, we'd be the loudest yeah. uh, visiting, cheering fans in the homes. Home yeah, go, why'd you guys come? <laughs> because like we never do it, you know. But like I think we yeah. got an appreciation for uh, sports pretty early on. But to me, I think it's just like Lakers, and then um, I mean, we 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 I, we did some growing up near the Forum too. So we definitely it was like yeah, the, yeah. the yeah. Lakers was like a instant, you know, magnetism. Like and, you know, yeah, yeah. For yeah sure. for, and for I sure. think with football, for me. Mm. Um, it probably had to be at one point it was the Jets, but uh, I, was, really? I was big on the Packers. Or no, I'm not Packers, but the Broncos. But yeah, that was also because like uh, I was big in the Madden that year, and that was the team I got drafted on. So I, <laughs> I remember that, like, you know, the commitment's <laughs> real. It's it's off the field too, coach. Yeah, I, remember, I, 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 I mean, I got know. drafted to the Titans, but I wasn't a Titans fan. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. <laughs> I remember no, that. Yeah, no, the, the Jake the Plumber. Uh, no. uh, the Jake the Snake Plumber era of the Broncos. I don't know why I was like all about. I remember that. that. I remember that. No, but Lakers Damn. through and through, all, always. That's probably the best answer. So nice. nice. I love it. But the next question. I know it's Alex's favorite question. If you're in Seven Eleven, what are the five items you're picking up? Oh, okay. Something, something on the sour side. Yeah. yeah. Probably some rips, maybe. Some maybe something, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Something like that. Something to drink for show. Yeah. Maybe Pro- a Gatorade or a soda. I might, I might maybe uh, an energy drink or like an Arizona, <laughs> maybe. So, um, yeah, yeah, for sure. That's, yeah. Chips. Some sort uh, of chips. Salsa Verde Doritos. Okay. That's, that's, yeah. that's, that's, that's I'm going, I'm going, going Cooler go. Ranch for sure. Okay. Yeah. Um, maybe. I, I mean, if I'm going to be honest, I'm gonna probably, some. probably a Swisher. You know what I'm saying? Maybe mm-hmm. something like that. Um, and number five would probably be uh, possibly a lottery ticket. Maybe <laughs> yeah. if That's I got okay. cash on me, just for the you know, just for the one dollar joint. You know, this is a person. I like. I don't <laughs> know what it is, but I I can Starburst I probably Starburst. Day. I, I, mean, yeah. I can eat milk duds any day of the week. You, so. yeah, dude. <laughs> ever since, ever since we've been, dude, we were kids. If, like, if, if that Seven Eleven got them, I'll probably buy. If there's, them. A, all, yeah. if, if there's know, ever a food that would make us more different as twins, <laughs> yeah. it's milk duds. We, I, I do not feel the yeah. same way about milk duds. It's just <laughs> yeah. insane. Like, like I'll have them and then I remember exactly. Like, I quit. Like, no, no, I quickly remember why I hate these. As soon as I eat them, I'm like, no, I don't eat these. Like. <laughs> I'm like this is this is why this is your thing. I'm this like, is not I'm my idea. <laughs> and I always say yeah, just because I'm like it's been a while. I'm like you know I'm what you're getting to, yourself into. I'm trying to get the word out. <laughs> I'm trying to be the spokesperson because yeah, yeah. milk does ain't had a commercial in like years. <laughs> so I'm trying to throw my hat. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. And at least I kind of relate because I think we picked literally the same as we went yes the other day, and I think we picked like the sour straws. I know Alex picked in Arizona. I got the Cool Ranch Doritos. See, oh, yeah. you got to get a little Arizona everything. Arizona used to be like that. I know I'm getting that, but what else? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. It, was like like that. it was like that, and like like you said, there's always something sour, right? Yeah, yeah. And then I, yeah. yeah I threw Starburst in there because I'm like, oh, I always got to get something sweet. Too, in Arizona, yeah. I would have like six different flavors on deck because they didn't always have. You the one they wanted, so you had to have you know the backups. Or they started yeah. adding stuff you didn't want to the old flavors. You're like. <laughs> Can I just get the regular Arnold Palmer, please? Like, damn, man. Right? Yeah. <laughs> I think they got rid of the, what was Alex, the fruit punch? Did they get rid of? Yeah, the fruit punch one. The grape. Yeah. Grape they oh, got rid of. Really? Oh, that's kind of original. Okay. That, that's, that's an OG. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's that's right. I'm thinking they didn't get rid of the, one of the new that's ones. Yep. Yeah, because I used to work at a gas station back in the day, so I used to have to stock this stuff, and I'm like, we don't sell them. Nobody buys these flavors. Why do we have them? Like, you right. know, so it's like, no, let's not discontinue those. Let's just keep let's keep pumping those out and then keep losing money. <laughs> it's like, let's do that. Like, all right. Oh yeah. Um, but the next question outside of wrestling, what hobbies do you like to do? Uh so we actually um we both actually make music yeah. together. Uh we've been making music for 20 years at least, um, as a duo solo as well um i'm on any music platform you can search as doc lesnar uh he's quincy jones go 
uh, but collectively we're known as the Mega Towers, uh, which is a play nice. on Mega Powers, obviously, because we used to be called the Twin Towers, and we just and then something wanted, happened. Yeah, you know, <laughs> history, a, a major story. <laughs> uh, you know, so we just started moving then, away from that, to, uh, yeah. and, you know, because we really incorporate the wrestling side into the raps as well. Yeah, yeah. and so we were like, well, let's just make it part of our identity. So you know, there you go. You got the Doc Lesnar part, and then uh, you know the whole Mega Power Mega Tower spinoff. But uh, yeah, no, I mean, Spotify, Apple, any of the platforms you like to go to stream music, just, you know, hit us up. You'll see us right in there. So, but uh, I mean, I would and, say music and, and do a podcast. Yeah, well. I mean, yeah, and so. but if and if we could even find time nowadays, just with everything yeah, going on with Winter really Circle, taking over a lot of uh, which is great. You know, I mean, we, we used to get into a lot of like uh, uh, WWE 2K, uh, you know, video oh, playing yeah. video, uh, playing video games and stuff like that. Um, you know, doing our own universe and stuff like that. You know what I mean? It's still like one of those things we like. Like I said, we don't get a lot of time, but we were like, oh, I could carve out maybe an hour doing some stuff. Yeah. You know what I mean? Then, but yeah. You know. uh, we also, I also do, um, I sell uh, wrestling merch. Oh, yeah. That, yeah. Very uh, true. Yeah. Safari, so Memorabilia like, stuff too. Yeah, and sign stuff, just yeah. like items, figures, all kinds of stuff. I have fun doing that, that, that stuff too because you get to meet a lot of different people in the culture and some of them are real ridiculous because a lot of them, you know, they, they, they think you don't know what you're selling. They try to lowball the hell out of you. Yeah, I, 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 I laugh. Let's be realistic. Like I, I'm not gonna bend over a barrel, my dude. But like, don't don't play me for fool. I, you know? I, I so, laugh because I've heard so many stories. Like, oh, hit me up. Like, hey man, uh, so many let stories. me tell you what happened with this one guy. <laughs> and I'm like, so it's so funny. I'm like, I'm like, no, it, it, but it's so true but that you like, yeah, wrestling fans could be, yeah, you know, no, no, and he's yeah. fair, 100 yeah. too. So that, that, that's why it gets, you know, it gets to be a ridiculous mm-hmm. sometimes. But yeah, yeah, that, yeah. I, but I would say, yeah. That's probably, that, those are probably some most of the, what we do for not doing uh winter circle yeah because right? now it's like the new hobby is like coming up with creative for the next show right yeah. like pretty yeah, much man. Time, yeah so. which is fun yeah, yeah which Definitely. is fun so nice alex i kind of relate to that too alex is usually hanging out with me looking for like an offer up all these like huge lots of figures because i'm a huge figure collector oh same okay. same yeah I, I get what you mean like you'll meet some odd characters and yeah. Sometimes like no, I'm not trying to rip you off. Like we're trying to make a deal here. Or, like yeah, yeah. But everybody's so sketchy. They're like, I've been burned before, man. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's, a, it's a lot of yeah, like, yeah. a lot of like it's, it's almost like playing operation. You're like tr- you're trying to be delicate. It's, it's like yeah. Yeah. to me, it's, it's I like, feel like everyone feels like they're like undercover and then like this is a deal going. Yeah, yeah, and it feels just, like everyone thinks everyone's a narc or something. Yeah, they're just waiting. Right. They're waiting for the cops to pull up. They're like, I don't trust you, man. Oh, man. Yeah, but no, I, yeah, I mean, I, I do a lot of uh, fig collecting as well. Not as much as I used to. Honestly, like, like until today, because he hit me up today. He's like, hey, man, the new FTR coming out. I'm like, oh, shit. <laughs> I, was, I was like, I totally it's forgot. Like, to... <laughs> RIP, my pocket. Yeah, yeah, I was like, I was gonna save. I was gonna save this for. Uh, I'll get paid next week. All right, that's fine. That's fine. I was like, I'll I got it. Oh, because because I know they're gonna sell out. You know what yeah. I mean? Like, you know, like been waiting on those. Those are the last you've been waiting on for for that whole pack. So, but yeah, that's, that's pretty much yeah. it, man. I know what you mean, uh, especially with WrestleCon coming up. Alex is always calling me because I get I'm trying to collect as many Hasbro's. I know you oh, guys know for yeah. sure the the carded Hasbro's are like insane with the pricing. Yeah, so I'm like, yeah, I trying to get some time because of that. Because yeah. Yeah. It's, um, the market's all over the place, and it, yeah. it's just it's a you got to really be in it to, to to win it. I would say you know so you got to yeah, you know yeah. what I mean. So yeah. So yeah. Because I was looking for the, the, I know you guys probably uh, know uh, for sure, uh, the Mountie, there's like a Hasbro figure for like 90, and then it goes from like 150 to 200. I'm like, yeah, it Jeez. just fluctuates. It's the, yeah, the jump is insane, man. And and, oh, then, yeah. and it's like, it's been, it's, it's the just, it's the justification there, too, right? It's yeah. like, well, budge a little bit, bro. Like this is, it hasn't been updated for like six months. Like, you know, but, right. you know, so I don't know. And you have the sellers that they know why you're buying it and they're like messing me. Are you going to a signing? I'm like, well, yeah. Like, what does that have to do with anything? I'm like, you're like twenty five hundred. Well, you're gonna earn it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh man, they get you there. Yeah. Oh man. Nice. You, and also, like, you won't forget this signing. <laughs> right. Jeez, also, it's like, it's just, love. It's just oh, the oh, no, no, I'm like, it's just yeah. the Mountie. Why are you being so stingy? Yeah. Like, but yeah. It's, but his figure is just. No, like, no, I get so, it. Yeah, I get it. Oh yeah, for sure. I also love that you mentioned too that you incorporate wrestling into your music. 
to your, to your music. You know, I know uh, Alex and I were watching recently, like Billy Corgan smashing pumpkins. He mm-hmm. always felt like in the nineties that wrestling and like playing rock were like two different worlds. Like you couldn't collide them, but now, mm-hmm. you know, he, him only the NWA and now you see Ric Flair, like in almost every hip hop video, it's kind of cool that <laughs> yeah. wrestling yeah, I, and I, I music still I I still gotta get used to Ric Flair like embracing <laughs> that culture because it's like yeah. at the same time you're like oh it's Ric Flair of course but it's still like man this is so weird like you know yeah. like, <laughs> you I know, mean how he's embraced the Ric uh, embraced the Ric Flair drip the thing. drip like, it's and just then like yeah like, like you were I mean for for like, it, for me it's like like it's cool because like you know back when we we're like like wrestling and hip hop has always been something that we've been known for even back in high school yeah for all our friends that knew us. But back then, yeah, people would be like, no, they're all, like, separate. Like, they can't both be cool, right? right. And then- but, but I always thought because we would get the things where, like, Method Man uh, did, like, Kane's theme song. Oh, like, that's on true. Compilation and, and Run DMC. Oh, yeah, they had yeah, that like whole that. Th- yeah, album. And yeah. so, I don't know. To me, uh, even with the project I have, it's called This Is Awesome. Uh, it's, like, one of those things where that's the big thing where I'm, like, you know, hip-hop and, and the wrestling world are kind of, like, parallels like in a sense like mm-hmm. big personalities and they're all trying to like get the message out and 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 like let you make you know make you believe that they're the best out there which is essentially like the same thing wrestling's built on in mm-hmm. a sense and then tell their story which is what we sink our teeth into as fans you know with wrestling so uh i feel like there's it's just there's always been things. like yeah cor- there's always been a correlation between yeah, the two yeah, but it's it's, it's similar it's just you know? cool to see now that it's being more accepted yeah right uh but it's always like, also like i said it's like but where was this back in high school, man? Like, you know what I mean? So it's like this look- rappers, they all have gimmick names, you know what I mean? They don't have the oh, yeah, they use their real names, you know what I mean? True. So yeah. yeah. But yeah, no, yeah, definitely, definitely uh something that I thought was uh, a cool bridge to to cross. Like, and then uh yeah, you know, and there's a few people like Mega Ran and a few artists yeah. like that in the in the and uh, he's at we we actually got a chance to collaborate with Mega Ran. So oh nice. Um, yeah, so if you guys check check it out, the song's called uh, "Strong Style and Remix." It's kind oh of yeah, it's on his album, Flair catchphrase. But uh, yeah, well, he's on it, and uh, uh, Mega Ran's on it. But uh, he he's That's a cool guy. Every time we run into him, very very humble dude. Yeah, hospitable. You know, yeah, yeah just like. You know, yeah, just a guy like I, I I remember the other day I was like, yo, who you got for the rumble? He was like, It's gotta be Cody, right? You know, so <laughs> right. Just, you know, really cool dude. So but yeah, man. That's yeah. awesome. No, American is cool. I heard first time I listened to him, I think they plugged him in uh what culture pro wrestling on YouTube. Yeah, that's mm-hmm. right. I thought yeah, this stuff yeah. was so awesome. Definitely, yeah. yeah, man. I agree. Definitely. Awesome. Uh with the next question, do you guys have a favorite video game? Uh, probably here comes no the pain. Mercy. Oh, that's too. Yeah, it yeah. probably is between No Mercy for N64 and then here comes the pain, well, right? I, I, it, like, it's tough because, like, on the N64, you also got like Revenge. Oh, you that's kind of open that mm-hmm. door. Yeah. And like that was WrestleMania the 2000 game before WrestleMania 2000 and No yeah. Mercy. But it's, it's like No Mercy's creative functions is just like top notch. Yeah. Because that's why yeah. we're all about creating people in yeah. the games, you know? So um because we you know we watched so much different wrestling uh not just wwe growing up or, or WF, like, yeah, so we say. would love to like make ecw guys or wcw guys or yeah. whatever you know we could just to kind of like you know before spice it up door stuff was like dream yeah. matches and yeah, stuff it, right yeah exactly. like so and yeah. uh, so yeah i would say early on definitely like the no mercies and the revenge and and, and <laughs> wrestlemania 2000s and then like definitely like the two k's and stuff but uh i'd say like this here comes the pain here comes the pain i mean uh, when they started making the smackdown versus raw series not all of them but there was a few where they like added a new feature where you're like yo like you know whichever one that had a freaking both goldberg and 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 brock lesnar that was when everybody was like okay this is it's just got real was top notch yeah yeah. (laughs) (laughs) um but if it's not wrestling uh grand theft auto yeah yeah it's a classic fire game was um I know what you're gonna Scarface, say. Yeah, Scarface Xbox, is a so, great game. And so was uh, the Punisher. <laughs> uh, the Punisher was another great because that one, uh, the Punisher is like the 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 Batman games yeah, the back in the yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. But yeah, that one was awesome too. Yeah, and then uh, yeah, I think that was. I mean, dude, because we used to like keep it real, real like wrestling, unless it was like fighting, right? Like maybe Mortal Kombat, maybe a little bit of like yeah. Ninja Turtles or, or something. Forever the rap night. Now you're going all the way. Yeah, yeah, man. No, yeah, no, that's. Uh, yeah, it's mostly wrestling, dude. Obviously, we're, we're huge fans, obviously, man. So I used to shred it on Guitar Hero pretty sick. Tony Hawk Pro Skater. Tony Hawk oh, be up there. Yeah, Tony Hawk Pro Skater for sure is in my top three. Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah, that's <laughs> childhood right there. Did you see the other day where yeah. that, that band was performing live? Yeah. And like mm-hmm. Tony Hawk came out and sang along with like the main song. That's I cool. Right. I was like, wow, this is dope. But I was like, I can only send it's like five people in my friends. <laughs> Not everyone knows <laughs> what it is, right? They don't get the reference. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh man. That's hilarious. Oh man. Awesome. No, we totally get it too, especially at wrestling game, Alex and I. Almost every wrestler we've heard, every interview, they usually pick that game because of the uh, creative mode. Yeah, they yeah. can build on wrestler. It's just that's so timeless. At the time, like that, I, don't, I can't remember another one. Well, I mean, the the other the older games like the WWE Attitude, where it was still kind of like I don't oh, even yeah. I don't even think Lion it was. Lane. Yeah, I don't yeah. even think they were like there there yet with the the mocap, but like it was kind of so so in the creative. So this was the first time it was like, oh, they look like everyone else in the game. Like you know what and I mean? It's just like I don't know, man. Like. And I, we, we've had a lot of epics, you know, like, like <laughs> battles on that game, yeah, creative people. Very so true, it's yeah. just like a, you just don't, you don't forget those hours you put in, you yeah, know what I'm true. saying? So, <laughs> the frustration of some, yeah, some days. Yeah, really like, the buttons, hating your brother for like two hours. Yeah, yeah, for yeah. No reason, you know? <laughs> I'm nah, thinking, man. I'm thinking about uh, when uh, they used to do the, the, the repeat German and be like, oh, I'm gonna hold down the oh, joystick. Man, yeah, 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 yeah. That's right, yeah. We had a cousin that he wouldn't, he, he was like a, uh, casual wrestling fan he loved like he would watch it with us but we'd play the smackdown games when it first came out and he anytime he would want to be the rock and he would just hit us with like five Bro. people's elbows in a row because yeah, you know that was back when you could load up how many finishers you want <laughs> per game and like you could start with them and like literally had five off the rip as soon as he hit you with like a back elbow or a scoop slam he's hitting the people's people's elbow, elbow. <laughs> people's <laughs> elbow people's <laughs> elbow like three four in times a in a row dude i was in like yeah Wow, man. Awesome. Uh, with the next question, uh, before a show, do you have any rituals you like to do? Uh, I mean, with this being our, well, I wouldn't say it was our, it's our, it was our first one under the winner circle banner. Like, um, mm-hmm. and I'm sure we'll get into it because we've done shows before uh, with our uh, prior company with Rival Pro Wrestling. Mm-hmm. Um, but it was, I don't know, it's a little different. Because with Rival Pro, we were more on the commentary side. I mean, not to say that like we were 100% investors too, and and we helped start the company. But in terms of what everybody was doing on that sh- those kind of show days, we'd be more you know making sure that all of our equipment was good for commentary, mm-hmm. and then running around and make sure there's anything else like that needed to you know yeah we kind of any all loose held ends down different things yeah for sure like yeah we was we were doing like more of the audio stuff. Someone would be doing the merch. Someone was like dealing with the with the locker room and the front door yeah um i mean in terms of rituals with like music though when we do shows oh, that's the one too. thing we used to do is either pray or we would just kind of it was this one thing we started doing one time where we're like you would feel the nerves so we would kind of just run a lap around the venue oh like, yeah like, like like outside the actual building and you know and, and sometimes it'd be blistering cold whatever but like it's kind of is better it's like you kind of feel it more and it's a way to expel those nerves to the outside yeah. of your body and kind of use it for a more productive mm-hmm. way, It was like, because you, know? so. you could feel the energy building and instead of staying there, you're like, I need yeah. this energy to go. So it was almost like you had zoomies, right? Like, yeah. <laughs> like, it's like, like, you didn't want it to turn it to anxiety. You wanted yeah, to true, convert true. it to excitement, you know? And just but, yeah. So but, but I that's will... something we usually do. But th- this last show, I yeah, was I was like, we didn't, we were, you know, you guys are there. We didn't, you know, we had the doors scheduled to open at a certain time. They did not, you know, there was a lot of things that kind of like, I would say, oh, not a lot. Let me not put, put it. <laughs> well, I mean, we're going to be our own worst critic, of course, yeah, right? Yeah, but yeah, but there yeah, was a few but... things that just uh, weren't coming together right away. So I think a lot of it was we were playing catch up to make sure you guys got in uh, and make sure the show got started and stuff like that. So we didn't get a chance to do anything like that. But um, I I wouldn't doubt if we ended up coming up with something towards the next couple shows. We definitely have some stuff planned. I mean, yeah, the only thing we really did this time out is we had a kind of like a like a team meeting, I guess you want to call it, before yeah. the show with all the talent. But which that was something we had always talked about that was going to be really important for us. Just you know, for a show and up the talent, yeah. yeah, and just let everybody get everybody on the same mind frame and on the same wavelength going into the show. And uh, everybody was, man. Everybody showed out. It was, I mean, you know, um, we, I felt like we put on a really good show. Uh, and the mm-hmm. talent for sure showed out. They, they, <laughs> they, you know, there were times we were like, man, like, you would swear these guys were working for us for years. <laughs> like, you know, I'm like, these guys are freaking just, <laughs> yeah. like, you know, but like, yeah, everybody, everybody cared. I think that's what it was, is everybody cared about uh, us and, and, you know, 
kudos to them because you know it's our first time working with us and yeah it's you know it's it's them going out there to do the matches but it's also you know in turn it's helping us with our first impression with with the community too so yeah man everything you know as much as we can say that there was you know like you said some stuff that we probably could have wanted things to to you know work better or- yeah you know but at the end of the day like the end result you know i couldn't have wanted a better result as far as like the 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 support we got after the show too man so yeah i mean everything i I, i'll I'll just say in short i can't wait for the next one for sure you know what i mean so oh yeah neither queen yeah alex i'm sure agrees with me as well like every match was a banger i love how like even like you said you know even a night of sometimes the little glitches happen but other than that like it was a great show i thought the hospitality that you showed alex and i were receding and like it was so professional and i love like you guys had a uh, vendors there and then you got, you guys gave our VIP uh, shirts and stuff. Like I thought everything was just perfect. Oh, no, man. I'm good. Yeah, that's, that's good to hear, man. Yeah. yeah. Cause I know that was another thing that, you know, that went into a lot of what we were trying to do with that first show is we were all, you know, not just thinking, okay, what are these matches we want? But we're like, well, we also got to make sure that, you know, the, the, the people coming to support us, they have a, a great experience, man. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. Fan experience was a huge priority. Yeah. Though, so that's good to hear. Yeah. Oh, yeah, no, for sure. Like, uh, I mean, I was afterwards, uh, you can tell, like, the company appreciates a fan, you know, and I'm, man, I'm sure you guys, yeah. because you guys are fans, it's like four fans by fans. So we yeah, felt man, appreciated. Like, we were able, and, and, and like, by you saying that, it really was able to, like, uh, put ourselves, you know, because again, like, before all this, if you would have asked me five years ago, you know, hey, what's your guys' hobby? I'd be like going to wrestling shows because that's what yeah. I was doing, man. Yeah. You know what I mean? So it's like, it is one of those things where it's, uh, we were able to kind of put ourselves in, in the other shoes and be like, well, if I'm a fan, this is what I'm going to be thinking. Maybe, you know, <laughs> top to bottom, maybe not, you know, you know, 100% representative of what the fans may think, but at least asking the proper questions that, yeah, like you know, concern yeah, that. you know what I mean? So, yeah. And, and you know, one of the things that we had gotten that was a hell of a compliment and, and it was one that we didn't really think about was we had a, a group of fans that thanked us for uh, the, the show because they said that it made them feel like safe like they feel like they yeah. have a safe, safe place to go to watch wrestling i'm like you know what in this day and age that is important to a lot of people you know mm-hmm. so um even that where i was like you know what let's continue making sure that people do feel comfortable they do feel safe they feel appreciated in that space because all we want to do is give everybody a hell of a show and you know yeah. try to implement some great storytelling in the middle of it mm-hmm. that people can enjoy as well and continue enjoying the product and keep coming back man because you know, that, that's just kind of what, what, what Winter Circle Pro is all about, man. We're just trying to put a different spin, a different brand, and just build on a lot of the, the great talent that's already in the area, you know? So, Oh, no, 100%. And very true, like you said, this day and age, that's the main thing, you know, feeling safe and comfortable. And we felt like that when we were there. And I, awesome. Alex always makes a little joke saying, when we go to a wrestling show, some of them, it depends, but this one, he always says, I feel home. Like, you feel <laughs> like, you know, like, yeah, like no, yeah. I get it, brother. I feel home, too. I feel and that. we felt that. That's what's up, man. I appreciate that. Oh, yeah, I'm glad man. that you guys feel that oh, way. Oh, of course. Uh, with the last question, last but not least, this is one of my favorite ones. If you could set a match at Winner's Circle, but those uh, the not non-wrestlers, who would it be? It could be a celebrity, an athlete, a oh. fictional character. Oh. Who would uh, that match be? Oh, okay. Hold on. <laughs> this is a great question. Damn. This is a great question. Not a wrestler. Cause, cause now, now you got me thinking. Like, it's one thing to be like, "Oh, I think this match would be cool," but then you're like, "No, it's Winter Circle, so I wanted to draw." I'm like, "Okay, hold on, let's draw some money. Let's draw some money." Chris Rock versus Will Smith cage match. Ooh. Book it. Yo, Book it. <laughs> I, I don't think I pop that. I was about to go blue face and Chris. Sean no, Lee. they but they have a match every for free. <laughs> I, that's a. Like, in a 24 cent. <laughs> I guess the Undertaker. What's the Undertaker, player? Yeah. Uh, man. Um, oh, sure. man. Yo, well, technically, was, you could, you could technically good, pick though. The Rock because he's, he's a celebrity now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, that's kind of true. Hey, hey, you could pick The Rock versus Ben Diesel. I'm, I feel like a, mm, maybe <laughs> once in a lifetime three, The Rock and John Cena, both celebrities. No. <laughs> third, in, third in a lifetime. <laughs> 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 Technically, you're right. Oh, the, the Rock versus the Vigil Man. Or maybe who's the guy that plays Young Rock? There's a lot, actually. Yeah. There's yeah. a lot of them, actually. Yeah, no, nah, but I, I got to go with what you said, though. That was, that was well, you know, I, I was thinking back to, like, yeah. Celebrity Deathmatch. I'm thinking about yeah. that. Yeah, I mean, that's like, such a good show. Or maybe 
Will and Jada versus Uh-oh. Blue Face and Krishan in a like toxic, <laughs> toxic <laughs> death match. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Oh man, I'm bad. In a backyard mud hole. <laughs> <laughs> On a pole, man. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Or, or or you know what it is? It's uh you gotta put uh one of somebody's hair on the line since Jade is bald. So that's where <laughs> oh you know what? Maybe Kanye versus Pete Davidson. Hey, Ooh. okay, but I like Pete Davidson. <laughs> He's funny. Kim could be like the ref, you know. Yo, yeah, yeah. Kim Kardashian in the shape. Oh, oh, I, shark I, cage. I got I, Mach- Machine Gun uh, Kelly, Megan Fox, first blood match. Ah, hey, they brought it upon themselves. <laughs> <laughs> They're making it too easy to make these matches. Oh, this is what man. I'm saying. Crazy. Crazy. Oh man, I love it. Oh man, maybe the Kardashians in a war games match. That'd be actually oh, yeah. against Dennis. who though? Against, <laughs> I think of a family. Yeah. All the rappers that they that uh, they all, all the rappers <laughs> that, that they ran through and, and like <laughs> Travis Scott, Kanye, Kid. No, Kid Cudi. Uh, cut it, cut it, Kid. Oh man, uh, Reggie Bush. Is want, I don't want these guys oh, to start getting like uh, random anonymous messages. Cease and desist for <laughs> yeah, mentioning yeah, their yeah. names. Yeah, <laughs> you're right. You're right. Or you could put like the guys they dated, like athletes versus. Celebrities are yeah, very are, true, very true. A lot of them you never heard of, so they could use the check. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like they, they just disappeared. Like you're like, man, you know. So, oh boy, boy, uh, the dude from the Nets. Uh, oh, how, how about Blake Griffin? He was like, Blake the, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, was Jeffries. it Chris Jeffries? Chris, yeah, that's what I'm, that's what I was thinking. Yeah. Oh my, he was. He was. Yeah, on, is it Humphreys? Humphreys. Humphreys. Chris Humphreys. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Right. You know what yeah. yeah. See, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that guy needs a check. He said, that guy needs a check. <laughs> <laughs> that "Further proves our point." Oh man. Oh, like, man. Uh, that was a good question, though. Seriously, that was like uh, almost like celebrity death match, but for real. Like, yeah. <laughs> that's like what Cornette versus Janela. <laughs> oh. Well, no, Janelle is, I guess he's not a celebrity. He's still a wrestler, so yeah. He'd probably be Cornette versus Tony Khan. Or oh, Russo. Ooh. Yeah. That's actually pretty good. <laughs> hey, I like that one. <laughs> I like that one. <laughs> oh, man. Nice. No, good question, though, definitely. Crazy. Uh, awesome, awesome. 